Hello guys, welcome back. Checking out my new gear. I'm still using the GoPro Hero 8. I got the Media Mod Joby 3K tripod and I have the Light Mod, the Rode Wireless Go. Should be better audio than the GoPro without an external mic. I'm supposed to start a job on Tuesday moving a washer dryer from the basement into first floor. I'm supposed to fit it in a closet. I gotta bring water, drain, everything to it. Electric. So it's gonna be a decent job. It's gonna be maybe two, three days. Yeah, they contacted me this morning and asked me what I thought, what we should do with the weather. And I said, actually, I wanted to push it back anyway. So I said to them, you know, I think it'd be the best to push it back a week. Let's see, you know, let's do that. They replied right away saying, yeah, let's, that's a good, good idea. So it worked out perfect. I didn't want to do it this week anyway. I had other things I wanted to get done. Yesterday, I uh, had a really good tool haul. I was only out for about four hours. I had to go to two different Home Depots. So there was a tool deal. A lot of you guys know about it. A DeWalt. 20 volt drill, buy one, get one free. So what I did was I bought four drills and I got, I got a blower, a jigsaw, circular saw, and the router. I actually got two blowers yesterday. One's a 60 volt. I'm gonna test them out and see if I wanna keep both. So it's four extra drills. I usually keep three drills in my van, but one of them's a DeWalt 20 volt hammer drill. And I only bring that out for like heavy duty <laughs> drilling or uh, hammer drilling, or if I'm doing big hole saw, drilling into boxes, something like that. It's a nice drill for that. It's just as powerful as that hammer drill, and it's a little lighter and probably smaller too. I didn't compare them yet, but. So I'm gonna keep one in the van. I'm gonna keep two in my shop, and then I'll have a spare, or I might find another use for it. I don't know. I like the six and a half inch DeWalt circular saw that I just got because it's the blades on the other side. You know, it's on the left side of the saw. It's a lot easier for ripping plywood and things like that. I could tell it would be kind of like my go-to now because it's lighter than my 60 volt. Actually, I got an issue with my 60 volt. The, the fence was off ever since I bought it, but I don't really go by the fence when I'm cutting. I go by the blade. That's what, where I was taught. I might contact DeWalt and see if I can get warranty. Maybe they'll send me a new one. That would be cool. It's about two years old. So I got two blowers. One was with the tool deal, the 20 volt. The other one's a 60 volt. And I'm not keeping both, but I might return one i'm not sure yet i have the 60 volt string trimmer that thing's gonna be awesome i'm trying to get away from like dealing with two cycle engines so then the router that's gonna be nice i don't use routers a lot but just having, having a cordless is gonna be great the jigsaw i've had my eye on that for a while i actually wanted the barrel grip jigsaw but the steel was so good i I had to get it and then got it out of the box and I put the battery on it. I didn't cut anything with it yet, but I kind of felt it. And I was like, yeah, this is actually better than I thought. It's a D-handle jigsaw, but the handle, it's kind of lower than I thought. So I think it's going to have a nice feel to it when I go to use it. I might still get the barrel grip down the road, but I put it off for a while and then I got this. So that's just, I really like that barrel grip jigsaw. Only other jigsaw I had was, I think it's a Bosch or no, Makita. I've had it for years. It's a barrel grip. It's nice. I like it, but it's corded. I picked up the M12 jigsaw and I like it. It's not brushless but it's a nice little jigsaw. I keep that in my truck because it's small. For doing major stuff, like even cutting out for a sink, I wouldn't want to use the M12, I don't think. I'd rather have the DeWalt, more torque, more speed, goes in and out. So the router, the blower, the jigsaw, and then the circular saw. I had a six and a half cordless over 15 years ago when the Ryobis were blue. I didn't have any cordless circular saw for a while. And then I, like I said, two, three years ago, I bought that De DeWalt 60 volt. Thing's awesome. I missed having a six and a half. I actually have the M12 circular saw also, but see, I keep that on the truck because it's smaller. The M12s are nice. They give me more room in the truck. So I'll keep that in the truck for cutting furring strips or a two by four or small pieces of plywood for like behind panels. That's perfect. Anyway, I love tools. So <laughs> gotta have them. So I just started watching a video from Jeff Ostroff and he bought like another four or five drills and he got other tools and I thought I was done, right? I thought, eh, that's enough. I spent enough money. That's cool. I got what I wanted. But then I was like, wait a second. Nah, this is too good of a deal. And here's the thing. So I don't want a Sawzall because I already have a few and I prefer Milwaukee Sawzalls. I have a couple DeWalt's, but if I ever buy another one, it's going to be a Milwaukee. I just don't, I don't think there's anything better. I'll get a super Sawzall and, I, and maybe be a hacksaw and I'll be done. I'm gonna go back out to this one Home Depot about 10 minutes from me and see what they have. Hopefully they have some things. I'm gonna get a couple more deals. Uh, I definitely want the sander and there's a couple other tools. I can't even remember what they are, but um, anyway, I'll show you later what I got. But I thought about it and I was like, it's a great deal. No matter, no matter what, because here's the thing, 160 buck per kit, right? You get by the drill, you get the tool free, but I don't need seven, eight drills, right? So I'm definitely going to return some drills. When you return the drills, you're going to get about $80 back. I think it's 80. So that's fine because I was able to get these other tools so cheap. So 80 bucks for a tool, 
when it normally would cost 150. These are actually things like I, I would like to have. Hold on a second, let me see what tools they have. What else is there that I really would want? Okay, so I'm looking at the tools that I could get. I already have DeWalt's original oscillating tool. Plus I have an M12, which I think is better. Just got it. I have a grinder. I don't wanna to go too crazy. All right, guys, I plan on going back in the shop later and showing you what I got. Okay, guys, so here's my tool haul. As I said yesterday, I picked up four drills and I got four other tools. Buy one, get one free. So yesterday I got the blower. That's the 20 volt brushless. I got the six and a half inch brushless circular saw, the XR brushless jigsaw, and XR brushless router. And then after watching about about a minute of Jeff's video, thanks Jeff, I went back out. <laughs> I was like, I saw he filled up his trunk again and I'm like, yeah, that's too great of a deal to pass up. Then today I went out and I got the XR sander brushless, freaking awesome, drywall screw gun brushless and I got the light. That's actually a very bright light. It's 2000 lumens. That's even brighter than their spotlight. Let me show you a couple things here on this blower. This blower is 400 CFM and I told you guys I bought the 60 volt also. That's 600 CFM. The 60 is definitely much more powerful. The thing is though is this has better ergonomics than the 60 in your hand. It just it's more balanced and it feels better. It's a little lighter too. So I think I might keep it because it has it's, it's going to have its purpose but I also I think I'm going to keep the 60 just because of the power. This actually will sit upright if you didn't have the battery in it. Or I guess you could store it like that too. Okay guys, I wanted to do a quick comparison between the DCD996 and the DCD791, which is the drill you get with the tool deal. This is my DCD996 cordless brushless hammer drill. It's got three speeds. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that, right? Also has a handle, which is in my van. So this drill is something I would use where I would normally pull this out, I'm gonna use this instead now, because it's a little smaller and it's probably almost as powerful. I don't think it's as powerful, but if I'm gonna do hammer drilling, I'm gonna use this. If I'm not, I will use that. Unless the, I need more power, then I would use that. But I'm trying to make this tool last. Uh, I have an SDS drill, so it's not like I don't have another way to drill into concrete, but this is something I wanna conserve so it lasts. I also have an M12 brushless drill, which is also a hammer drill, but it's not as aggressive as this, so obviously it's just not as powerful. About three quarters of an inch shorter height-wise, about an inch shorter lengthwise. It's a little bit narrower at the top. Now, let me see if the ergonomics are different. This one's a little bit bigger in the grip and trigger. It seems a little bit bigger on this one. Yeah, not much. This is still a comfortable tool. So let's look at the weight differences. So the DCD996 with a battery comes in at four pounds, 13 ounces. This drill, 791, three pounds, 15 ounces. It's a pound difference, roughly. That's gonna be a nice drill. It should hold up just as well as anything else that is DeWalt XR tool. So let's do a quick comparison of the circular saws. This one's a 20 volt brushless that I got in the kit. And this is my flex volt circular saw. You can tell right off the bat that one has a blade on the right side and this one has the blade on the left side. This is a seven and a quarter inch saw. This is a six and a half. Obviously you're gonna have more power with the flex volt, but this is gonna be smaller, lighter, and sometimes having the blade on the left side is gonna be more convenient. So the weight of the flex volt comes in at 10.2 ounces. Pretty heavy. This 20 volt comes in at seven pounds, 13 ounces. Considerably lighter, a little smaller, but a great addition to the fleet. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you don't miss the next one. See you then.